So yeah, I just want to talk about um, the sort of, uh, I want to say almost medieval sound. I think I've, re- I've read some people call it that, some sort of renaissance sound of Gentle Giant. Um, especially songs like, a, like I was listening to um, Freehand the other day, and the song uh, Tally Bond is quite, it's sort of just like a medieval sort of tune that would be yeah. played at some sort of like, like a jester has come into the king's court or something. Um, yeah. I think it is partly to do with the the way the vocals sort of overlay and the use of strings and horns. Do you think this this was sort of in part to give yourself a sort of uniqueness? Uh, I think probably. I think yeah. I, that was that was Carrie's influence. Uh, Carrie was very much um, uh, he loved medieval music. That his his love his real love was really um, the fifteenth century sixteenth century music, uh, which is kind of interesting. And and he loved. I mean, I, I mentioned the, the, the sort of uh, John Cages of the world, but his true love was, was medieval, uh, um, you know, uh, r- rondos and, 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 uh, and fugues and everything else. So that was more of his, his influence, and he loved that. And he, he influenced us to, to enjoy that kind of music too. And that was, uh, that was something that the band did individually to each other, for each other. We made... The band actually, as a as an entity, was put together, and, and and when we rehearsed, we tried to impress and make each other better, right? Um, better, better musicians for each other, uh, first. Again, it's probably selfish, and and we we're very much cocoon, but we loved to make ourselves better musicians and make better music for each other, and and challenge each other uh, to make it as interesting and as musical as it could be, um, hopefully, and then we take it on stage and hopefully uh, one or two people would enjoy it too and then, you know, we become a real band. But that was our first challenge, if you like, to challenge each other. I mean, that must have definitely um, spearheaded you on to sort of, you know, get a bit more complex and advanced to even just to wow each other, really. Yeah, effectively, yeah. And, you know, and, and to be able to do things that we never even thought we could do or, or wanted to do, and and again, this we had we had no let's be like so and so let's be like this band here let's try and do this. It was it was a period of time when a lot of these bands were just developing and we were just developing as well. I mean, the first album to the fourth or fifth album were, you know, there was a again a band has a lifetime and it it you're born you have an adolescence you're an adult you get older and then you get you know you're dead. <laughs> you know, so uh, or or and then you continue to be a dead band, or walking if you like. And a lot of bands in the, of that era have continued to do that. I won't name them who they are, but uh, you know that's that's like a lifespan of anything. 